Jordan Cutts, Cyan Doherty, Rebecca Nichols and Chris Meldrum. So many ECU broadcasting graduates have gone on to have successful careers in radio and television around the country and overseas. Now the class of 2018 is making its mark, producing a show called Rough Cut. Hope you enjoy it. Jones. They're some of the world's biggest music producers, but it's a hard nut to crack. Lindsay Brennan met an international student trying to make his mark on the Perth music scene. In 2014, Atanga Mugandi moved from his home country of Zambia to Perth to study computer science at Edith Cowan University. While he enjoys working in this field, he says his real passion is music. Growing up, I've always had a passion for music. People back home wouldn't really take music seriously. I would, you know, fit around with music. It's been an on and off thing, but um, a few years ago I decided to take it really seriously. As well as playing instruments, Atanga is a producer. Going by the name of Gandhi, he's produced for a few artists in his home country, but his first here in Perth are sisters Tina and Tatanda Mazondo. Together they make Lady Amaziah. We met at a friend's party, um, Matango was there and I had kind of been sending a few random songs to record labels and stuff and kind of not hearing back from anyone and then I heard that Atanga was actually a producer so I sent him some demos and then I told Tatanda about it and she was really keen to get involved as well so we all met up at ECU um, on a little park bench and that was our first meeting. Since this meeting, the trio have released a number of songs and recently played their first gig together. Their current mission is to release an EP, promote their original music and make an impact on the Perth music scene. We kind of haven't really seen a lot of people of colour really being represented in the Perth scene. One of our passions is really to create more diversity and to kind of um, make it more inclusive and more accepting of all different cultures, different backgrounds. That's part of what drives us to really keep going and to work hard because we want to see more people that look like us, I guess, making music in Perth. My mum always loved to sing around the house and my parents actually, like, they went to a choir and stuff when they were younger. That's how they met. On my mum's side, everyone's very musical and creative, so there was definitely a lot of noise in our house growing up. The girls say while they might never be millionaires, they're lucky to have family support. I was quite surprised because they're quite um, traditional, like, in their ways, but they'd kind of already seen it from me in a young age, so they knew that it was something that I was passionate and I was, like, quite set in my ways that I wasn't going to do anything else. The last time a West Australian artist had a number one hit on the ARIA singles chart was in 2012 and it was freshly crowned X Factor winner Samantha Jade. Lady Amaziah are in the process of creating their first EP for the world to hear. Will it become a number one? Who knows? Rough cut for this year. We hope you'll be seeing a lot more of us in the future. We'll leave you with a little bit more from Lady Amaziah and their song Hallmark Christmas from all of us at ECU Broadcasting. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. i